On April 18th, 2024, Artie Lang reported live from the beautiful golden statue entrance of the new $6.69 studio. He delivered a message from old Vincenzo, questioning how Vincenzo managed to short the top as Bitcoin experienced a 5.69% flash crash. Old Vincenzo took a bitty ETF short at 7.72 cents, with Bitcoin hovering near $71,000. The question arose, how did Vincenzo fleece the criminals, gangsters, and place the perfect trade that would double or triple the portfolio in less than two months? The answer lies in a bell notification. Like, share, and most importantly, hit that free subscribe button to become members of Jabroni Killers, all for $3.69. Dare to find a better value of truth, education, information, and integrity, peace, and love. I hope you enjoyed the engaging script. If you have any more topics or requests, feel free to share them. Have a great day. Subscribe down below, bell notification, most importantly, to my glowing, beautiful, gorgeous audiences to share it far and wide on social media. Good 18th of April, if we can believe this already, after a 5.37% flash crash of $3,452 and falling. Uh, this is Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, your number one cryptocurrency and XRP and gold and silver bullion insider on social media. And exclusively here on YouTube as Bitcoin slips $60,000, XLM is down 5.0%. The all-famous and everyone's law of the most uh, uh, beheld, 5.81% to 4.427 cents. The XRP continues to crash and uh, manipulated and orchestrated uh, and executed flawlessly by an institution with billions of dollars that have influenced and infiltrated the United States government, Federal Reserve, and moral banking system to knock down and beat down the retail traders. Uh, and that's why old Vincenzo is here. And that's why I need you to smash bell notifications, super chat to support channel. Uh, Two dollars and 69 cents. See, uh, members of Jabroni Killer, I dare you and beg you to find a better value of education, information, truth, and integrity to help you navigate these choppy waters as I am not a financial advisor, Jay. And just as Jay has entered the building, Ira, the coin update man has the current temperature is 58 degrees, Jay, at the Central Illinois Airport in Bloomington. Current price, you can see it's at $8.63. It was down on a big down day today. It was down better than 5.5%. And now it's ganged back all of that in a ferocious after hours rally where it's about to go to 6% up. And there we go. Boom. Milestone. $8.64. $8.64 or $6.11 up. And after hours, it reclaimed the 4.32% during um, normal hour trading. And we're currently up 12.17% or $234 at a $7.72 average price. With 250 shares and we're going to ride this for a little while xrp purple i believe earlier uh let's get out of there and just go to the com um xrp purple we're gonna appreciate the comment and uh, once again fleece heist and shist and force us through the old version and soul version and uh black op uh fleecing of my station and keeping us away from the mainstream on youtube by suppressing us the comments and the likes and the shares force our way back in just a few weeks ago when we had thousands of views per video was because of commenters like XRP Purple and people that hit the like and subscribe button like user SI4NT5G. Uh, not asking for advice, just what would you do? Sell at a substantial loss now and repurchase at this low heading this way or wait it out. That's all on your individual investments, XRP Purple, depending on what you bought, how much you bought, uh, do you need that money now or is it money that can sit there for years and it doesn't affect your day-to-day -day life? Because I am not a financial advisor, as you just said there in the comment. Uh, I'm just giving you my opinion. And if you don't need that money and it's money that you can afford to let sit there, if the price substantially depreciates more depending on how far down you already are, it might just be a great time to accumulate more and not realize any losses if you're down 40, 60, 80% down on something. Unless you need the money right now to pay for something, then that kind of forces your hand because you got to pay some bills. But if it's money you put on there 
and you don't need today, next week, next year, and it's just there to go to zero or to make you a bunch of money, I would just let it sit there and accumulate more if that is something that you are into and hold a bigger bag if the thing that is down substantially crashes substantially more, then that might be an opportune time to buy. Substantially lower your cost per share or coin in this case of what you hold. And if you hold something that you bought at 100 and now it's at 40 and this is the question you're asking, and, not, and then if it goes down to say 25, maybe you could uh, buy a bunch in if that is something that you could do, not financial advice. But if you did that, it might bring your cost per share from 100, maybe down to 50, and now the price is at 25 or maybe 60, and then the price comes up maybe 50% from uh, 25, and now you're at you know pushing 42, $43, and now you're not down 60, 70% or whatever it was, and now you're only down 10 or 15%, and then you can get out at a very, very minimum loss compared to whatever 40, 60, 80% you possibly may be in or in this virtual conversation because I'm not a financial sell. No. I just bought more, and now five years later, those same ones, I have gotten uh, two to 300% more shares, and they went from 25 to 40% down to 25 to 40% up just by holding, uh, knowing what I wanted to hold. They pay a dividend because they are mining companies, and I did my research for my lifetime, and I think silver and gold bullion is the way to go. So I just bought when it got low, and the Exalamis continued to slip critical support. And if the buyers and the momentum don't come back in, which may not, this is going to at least double bottom here. You know, at about 0 0.089 cents and most likely come back down here to the sub 0 0.078 cents, which got hit multiple times on a desperation hold before a humongous manipulated pump by the judge on that fateful day in uh, mid-July of 2023, right? And that's what took place there. Of course, that would come off. And that's what took place over here on that orchestrated and facilitated pump. And we might be coming back down, but this time if we come back down, we might breach the buyers or the bulls that were lined up there and the wall might be fortified and broke down. And we dip down maybe as far down as the 0 0.028 cents in a catastrophic flush, but more likely you would dip down into this major area right here and get some kind of bounce at 0 0.071 because if you didn't, there is no real major support until you get way, way down very very quick. So that is something to pay attention to. And we're going to end this with the old XRP. We are continuing and obviously in this far out macro time frame. But just like Bitcoin, we are in this rising channel with the uptrending upper resistance up here in green and the uptrending lower support in green rising channel because a rising channel is the same length here and the same length at the end of the pattern as it was at the beginning of the pattern. And it's a rising channel because it's rising, right? And that's what that is. And then we had the triple rejection of death, followed by the manipulated and orchestrated pump, just like XLM on that faithful day. And right now, if we can't get back into here before we zoom in, we're coming to the 37 cents, just like we've been warning you about the whole time you were up here with the wall of sellers fighting with the wall of buyers on the opposite end. And if you broke this uptrending pattern that started after this great, uh, the grateful day of the 50% flush and dump of the crypto sphere that caused the FTXs, the Sam Bankman frauds, uh, the three arrows capital and the rest of the shysters to go bankrupt and have the retail traders that were hooked in and bought in uh, by the criminal gangsters and the fleeced billions of dollars spent to have sports players and models uh, and entertainers and athletes and uh, famous people to shill you and fleece you on those crypto scam sites. And then you lost all your fucking money while they walked away with the payment up front, right, of your hard-earned fucking money that you were going to lose. And we are about to break this critical thing and confirm a breakdown. That brings us straight to 37 cents, may have or would expect at least a fairly substantial rally, maybe up into this 47 cent range, which would be up here into this major support or major resistance in this case from back here in October of 23, all the way to March of 23, right? This whole area of support and resistance that the mean was running right about there, just like the mean down here was running right about there or the 37 cent level. And that would be a hook nose Jew bearish reversal. But I do believe we're coming down to this 25 cents as a technical target from this bear flag is if we put here our industry exclusive perching tool, this orchestrated dump 
that I just told you about with those fleece heisters and shysters and paid shills that were implemented beautifully by the criminal gangsters all into here to get you to buy it dumped on you. And that flag where those companies went bankrupt, right? That's the flag pole, right? Just like the flag that you hang, that you hang in the front of your house. That's the pole that you would hang the U.S. American flag or whatever native country you're in, or whatever flag you have on your front lawn. That's the flag pole. And this is the said flag that waves, right? This is a bullish continuation pattern but a bearish reversal pattern as a rounding top is often noticed and seen here with the top, second top of death, third top of death, and a rounding top was noticed as the buyers or the bulls become exhausted in the sellers or the bears take over the market and the price is going to come to its technical target or Vincenzo's target of 15.4 cents and fulfill a targeted move from the that was predicted in 2021 when the price of the XRP was $1.69 and rising way, way back there. And old Vincenzo thought it would come down in 2022 and it came down to about 28 and a half cents, very close to that upper end 24 cents. But on a technical move, on a breakdown, this is your move. You go from the top of the flagpole to the bottom of the flagpole to the point of a breakout. And that gets you right here to this targeted move. And old Vincenzo thinks that may very well be where this cryptocurrency market is as a hammer and fleece heist and sheist into the small T or bear market. That was just a phenomenal bear market rally potentially to, uh, to walk away and beat you and pound you down to just rinse, wash and repeat the cycle again at the bear market low to have the retail traders be so beaten down they finally sell. The institutions buy it all back up and the one percenters and uh, the whales, and then they do the cycle all over again and pump it and get the retail traders in towards the top and dump into them on the way up. But if this is the major area that we continue on our last video on XRP that you were holding steadily, and it's holding on for dear life because the buyers are stacked there, but the overhead sellers are so intense that it wants to drive the price down to 37 cents, which would be a flash flush crash and it would take place very quickly in the matter of a few hours more than likely of 23.69 percent the buyers are trying to fight it but the sellers are more than likely going to take over the market and that's going to confirm a breakdown and confirm a very bearish pattern and this is sort of what i'm talking about how you'd probably get down there notice the uptrending upper resistance that this is threatening to become that used to be lower support um is uptrending and that's the rising channel you would probably flash come down overshoot a little bit maybe have a big shoot back up with the buyers or the bulls being there and you could have a ferocious rally all the way back up into this rising channel wherever you would hit it and then you could come on a classic hook nose dew bearish reversal and then knife back down or you trade down knife through come up into here use the 37 cents now that has been major support for the better part of two years now it uses it as major resistance and that drives you down and then you knife right through this vp volume indicator and make your targeted move technical vincenzo low right and you can see where you are currently in current time frame knifing out 